What's up dudes? This video I'm going to be showing you my whole process for drawing John Hill's newest pro skateboard part of the monster series. I think we should just jump right into Photoshop and I'll explain what I'm doing as we go along. All right dudes, so this board was done completely in Photoshop and as you can see I have already figured out the sort of style of this series. So I have Johnny Geiger's board sort of transparently displayed underneath and that way I can sort of keep the proportions, you know, the eyes of the monsters are in the same place and the mouth are the same size. I'm not being really picky about it, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it, no pun intended, uh, to sort of... Yeah, keep the proportions right and make make sure all the boards look cool when they're lined up next to each other. So this first step of the process is just me sketching out the board. And uh, I, I had an idea in my head of what each of the pros were going to be. And I knew John was going to be this sort of scaly, one-eyed, dragon-looking monster. Um, but you'll see that I'm I'm sketching and sort of figuring out how each piece is going to look so the eye will change a lot and you know the mouth changes and I've, it takes me a while to figure out the scales and everything so this this first part the sketch phase is all about figuring out the basically the layout and the design of the drawing okay i'm not sure there's a whole lot more to say about this part so what i'm going to do is speed up the the video even faster and I'll come back in when uh, we get to the next part, the next phase of the drawing. Alright, so now that the sketch is all finished, it's time to ink the drawing or the design. Um, for this I'm just using a pretty simple round brush with my Cintiq, um, so I get that nice sort of tapered line using the pin pressure and everything. I'm not being too picky about the line quality on any of this because in the next step I'm going to chunk it up and make it look all gritty and dirty and everything. So really it's just this this whole step is about finalizing the lines and making sure that the line art is just right. You know this step takes a while. I guess all the steps take a while because of all the scales but this one in particular because I have to draw each little scale just right instead of um, copying and pasting them like I did in the, the last part. Really that's all there is for this section so I'm going to speed it up again and I'll keep explaining when the next part starts.
Okay, for this next part, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and explain sort of how I add the texture and everything to the design. So I have a couple of different distresses that I import in to the file, just sort of these gritty textures and I'm placing those on top. I usually do a, a black one and a white one, so there, there'll be specks and dirt and stuff adding to the, to the drawing. Those are the black ones, and then also sort of taken out or like little chunks and stuff taken away. Those are the white ones. So I just add those in layers and then flatten the image down. Then I just apply a Gaussian blur filter to it and you sort of have to play with how much blur you're adding and taking away. And then a simple threshold, which is making it uh, like a pure black and white image again, makes the line art real crisp, but also keeps some of that texture that I added with the black and white distresses that I put on top. This is a technique that I learned from a really awesome designer named Brandon Reich. I went through that very quickly. If, all, if it seemed too confusing or you have questions, leave a comment below and I'll answer questions. Or if uh, enough people are interested, I can maybe make a little tutorial video about how I do it as well. Okay, now that all of the line art is done and distressed, I've added a layer for John's name and the Revive logo it's time to color the board. So all of Revive boards use flat Pantone colors, so that just means we get to pick the exact colors that are printed on the board, and they're nice flat colors that print really nicely on the decks. So basically all I'm doing is filling in color. I make sure each color is on its own layer, so in this case, the sort of dark teal color, the line art is on its own layer, the white is on its own layer, and the other two teal colors are on their own layers as well. And really the rest of the design is just adding in uh, some texture. I do a little bit of stippling in the eye and some on the teeth as well. And then the really hard part about this design was the scales. So I'm adding in a shadow on each scale and then also a highlight on each scale. Uh, so that took most of the time and I guess I'll just fast forward through that part now. Alright guys, once all the coloring is finished, I usually import the each layer into Illustrator and save everything into a template that the skateboard manufacturer provides, and then it's ready to uh, send off to be printed. This design took about four hours to do, and it was a little quicker than the other one, um, even despite the all the scales and stuff I had to draw, just because I had already done the other ones and figured out the style and the look and placement of everything. So this one went a little bit faster. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions about any of the process stuff in the comments below, and I'll, I'll respond and explain the best I can. Yeah, and there is John Hill's newest pro model skateboard, uh, part of the Monster Series in Revive's fall line, available now at theshredquarters.com. Okay, you guys probably have noticed a few changes from the board from when the video cut off, the process video cut off, to the final board here. Obviously the color has changed. I was originally going with that sort of uh, blue teal color, but the whole line was looking uh, a little on the cool side, and we decided it'd be better to make John's board uh, the sort of bright orange and rust colored monster. So we switched up John's board. 
Also, his eyeball changed quite a bit. We went back and forth a lot getting just the right level of creepiness for the eyeball. So that's changed. I'm sorry I didn't, I forgot to record all those changes, but I think you guys get the idea. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Hopefully it was interesting and informative. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will answer them as best as I can. Also, if you would like to support this channel, one, you could go to the shredquarters.com, which I'll link in the description below where you can get this board. Um, you can go buy John's board or any of the other uh, Revive stuff, especially this new fall line, because I'm very, very excited about how it all turned out. Very proud. Um, or you can go to my shop and get some pins or some comics or anything and uh, that's the main way you can support me making these videos because there are no ads on this channel. I also want to say thank you so so much for all of the awesome comments I got on the last video, the 10,000 subscribers video. It's crazy I'm already up above 11,000 already um, before even my next video so uh, I'm just so so thankful for all of your support and nice comments and everything it means the world to me so thank you guys so much that's it for this one hope you have an awesome productive week and i will catch you later